Alan Madison Turin was born to Julius Madison Turin and Ethel Sarah Turin in Maida Vale, London, on June 23, 1912. In the early part of his childhood, Turin showed signs of the genius that he later became. He attended the St. Michael's Day School at age 6 and went on to Hazel House Preparatory School in Sussex between 1922 and 1926, at what time he was 16 years old. He then attended the Sherborne Boarding School and his first day for school was the day of 1926 general strike in Britain. In his determination, he rode to school unaccompanied. But while at school, he was taught not to be serious with his studies because he showed more interest in mathematics rather than classics, which was the definition of education at the time. Despite a lack of respect for his excellent mathematics knowledge, Alan continued excelling in his mathematics and solved advanced 1927 problems without having learned elementary calculus. Alan, aged 13, in 1928, came in contact with the work of Albert Einstein, grasping and deducing Einstein's questioning of Newton's law of motion. Alan had a friend, Christopher Colin Markham, whom he met at Sherborne and was described as Alan's first love. Together, they provided inspiration for Alan's later endeavors before the death of Markham. Greatly devastated by the death of Markham, Alan submerged himself in his work on mathematics and science that he had shared with Markham. It was also speculated that Markham's death led to Alan's materialism and atheism. Although at this point, he still held his belief for spirits, being independent of the body and surviving after death. In 1931 to 1934, Alan studied at King's College, Cambridge and graduated in 1935 with first-class honors in mathematics at the age of 22 and was elected Fellow of King's College for his dissertation that became the Central Limit Theorem. The next year, Alan had his first publication of his paper on computable numbers with an application to the ancient dons problem and reformulated Kurt Gödel's result on the proof of computation limits. He created his own formal and simple hypothetical devices to replace that of Gödel, which became known as Turing machines. The machines was capable of computing anything on computation and was a central object of study in the theory of computation. It was acknowledged by John von Neumann that the central concept of modern computer resulted from Alan's paper. Alan spent most of his time from 1936 to 1938 studying in Church of Princeton University and later moved to Jane Eliza Proctor as a visiting fellow. He also studied cryptology and built three electromechanical binary multipliers in mid-1938. Alan obtained a PhD in mathematics at Princeton. He also gave his dissertation, System of Logic Based on Ordinals, that introduced the idea of ordinal logic and the notion of relative computing. He returned to Cambridge and in 1939 attended lectures on the foundation of mathematics by Ludwig Wittgenstein. The two disagreed on certain mathematical subjects, with Alan defending formalism and Ludwig stating that mathematics does not discover the absoluteness of truth but invents them. Alan was a vital participant in the Second World War in the breaking of German ciphers at Bletchley Park. He worked part-time with the Government Code and Cipher School, breaking codes in 1938. Alan worked on the cryptanalysis of the Enigma cipher machine that was used by the German Nazis. While working at Bletchley, Alan earned himself the name Prof with a treatise of Enigma known as Professor's Book. Alan, who was also gifted at running and had the ability to run in world-class marathons, often ran the 40 miles to London for meetings. He also competed once for the 1948 British Olympic team and was only 11 minutes behind Thomas Richards, the British silver medalist, at the trials for the marathon, though he did not make the Olympics due to an injury. Alan was the best runner for Walton Athletics Club. When Alan arrived at Bletchley Park in 1941, Within weeks, he identified the Bombay electromechanical machine that could break the enigma and frustrated Alan, his three fellow cryptanalyst. They tried to decrypt enigma signals, but their staff was limited, and the bombs prevented them from translating all the signals. In tackling the problem, after attempts to get the Prime Minister Winston Churchill to solve it and receiving no help, Alan conceived the idea of Banburismos in 1939 a statistical technique that helped in breaking the German naval enigma. In 1942, Alan traveled to the United States and worked on the naval enigma on the construction of their bomb. 
After his return to Bletchley Park in 1943, Alan became the general consultant for Bletchley's cryptanalysis, where he began to pursue the idea of electronic enciphering of the telephone speech system. He later worked for the Secret Service Radio Security at Hanslow Park and developed his knowledge for electronics. Alan was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire in 1946 by King George VI for his services during the war. By this time, he was living in Hampton, London and was working on the automatic computing engine design. He presented his paper in 1946 that was used in designing the stored program computer. He returned to Cambridge in 1947 on sabbatical but also produced a seminal work on intelligent machines that was not, however, published in his lifetime. Alan was appointed reader of the mathematics department at Victoria University of Manchester in 1948. The next year, he was made the deputy director of the computing machine laboratory at Manchester. His pilot, ACE, was built in his absence and executed in 1950, May 10. From this, several other computers around the world were built. In 1951, when Arlen was 39, he turned his attention to mathematical biology and got his work, The Chemical Basis of Morphogenesis, published, which was considered his best work and masterpiece and remains relevant today as a seminal piece for mathematical biology. Arlen was engaged to Joan Clark his fellow mathematician and cryptanalyst in 1941, but he called it off after confessing to her that he was homosexual and in January 1952, Alan began a relationship with 19-year-old Arnold Moray, although homosexual acts were considered as a criminal offense in the United Kingdom. Alan, who was 39, was charged with gross indecency and convicted with a choice of either being imprisoned or to be on probation that would entail him undergoing hormonal physical changes that would reduce his libido. He took the option of probation and was injected with the feminization of his body for a year, which rendered him impotent and his body formed breast tissues. As a result of his conviction, Alan was removed from his work as a crypto consultant to the government communication headquarters. He was also denied further entry into the United States and was prevented from discussing his work during the war period by the Official Secret Act. Allen was found dead by his housekeeper on June 8, 1954, at the age of 41. His death was ruled as suicide by cyanide poisoning. He was cremated and his ashes were scattered in the working crematorium's gardens. The British programmer, John Graham Cummins, in 2009, began a petition for the British government to grant an apology for the execution of Alan as homosexual. Gordon Brown, the then Prime Minister, released an apology letter in the year for Alan's appalling treatment. Alan Turin received several honors in Manchester and other cities, and to mark his 100th anniversary, the Turin Centenary Advisory Committee arranged the Alan Turin Year with events lined up for the year around the world in honor of his works and life achievements. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.